What is up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with another episode of Pessimistic at Best, the podcast. And I have none other than James with me here today. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we just got in a fight before this because I was getting on his nerves. It was not a fight. You were just pestering me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully you guys won't be able to feel this very palpable tension. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, anyways, we're friends again though. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Phew. That was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're coming here to chat about you know, I guess lots of things, but specifically. <laughs> <laughs> but not limited to. Yeah. Um, this absolutely insane place called Las Vegas that I just visited. It's very crazy. Have you been? <laughs> I actually haven't. So I'm going to be kind of yeah living vicariously. I know that you have stories. But for the fans back home. <laughs> yeah, I've never been. It looks fucking insane. Do you have any desire to go? I feel like it's one of those places you should just go. At least once. I mean, yeah. I'm close enough. You're close enough? I'm in the United States, so I feel like oh. I should go. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's that's a lame place to come to if you aren't from the United States. That's actually, I don't know. It's probably got some kind of fabled vibes across the seas, maybe, just because of so much media and like how Hollywood portrays Las Vegas. I guess. They're, I mean, pr- they're probably like, overpromising. <laughs> I feel like in Hollywood, it's just like really cool robbery movies that's it yeah what else is in vegas that's true that's what i'm looking for when i go to vegas yeah (laughs) (laughs) a sting operation (laughs) yeah i'm looking for brad pitt and george clooney yeah running away from the bellagio that one was very romanticized that did make vegas kind of seem cool oh for sure that movie's fire yeah yeah that's like what i think of when i think of vegas still Mm -hmm. even though i first saw that movie when i was a kid it's funny too. I actually was like looking up at all the security cameras when I was in the <laughs> casino. Dude, they're everywhere. Oh, for sure, for sure. They're literally like every three feet. There's a yeah, and like, I mean, there are like a thousand. If I'm yeah. sure there's even more. Have we talked about how they track people and stuff? Mm-mm. They like use crazy software to do like facial recognition, and then they track everybody's habits going through the entire casinos. So. It's funny because they treat it like a game testing situation where they like want to see who's doing what the most and what's most profitable, but they do it. What do you mean profitable? uh, Just like what stations and what games are the most popular. Oh, so they like literally do heat maps of like where the most people are in the casino at certain times. And then they like adjust. What an insane job. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's really crazy. And it's funny because it's very similar to like game testing. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a very insane place. Yeah, yeah. How was your experience? This You've been there once before. So I went once for like funsies. Right. It was Kayla's birthday and I think it was her 21st. And she would have been like one of our last friends then to turn 21. So we were like, oh, we'll do the whole shebang. We went to Vegas. I don't know. It was crazy. I mean, literally on the flight there, we're like taking pocket shots and like trying yeah. to get hammered. The plane ride over there was fucking insane. Everyone's just getting drunk. And especially because That's we were getting so in funny. at like um 10 or maybe even 11 like it was pretty late yeah so like our flight was rowdy none of us were sitting by each other either we tried to ask this like you know kind of like bigger guy if he wouldn't mind like moving around so me and bruce could be closer to each other he 100 percent was like no that's so funny <laughs> dude. when people say no on such situ- in situations <laughs> yeah. like that it's just like damn yeah okay okay See but ya. now we're gonna be on either side of you taking yeah. our alcoholic beverages that we <laughs> smuggled onto the airplane like it's just fucking ridiculous there's just gonna be a lot of awkward moments of me leaning over to see my friend yeah thanks and by the time we get drunk who knows like <laughs> <laughs> i think we'll just be getting on your nerves and it is kind of a long flight right it's like four hours or something yeah i mean i've definitely never been on a plane ride where like more people than not are getting drunk yeah is that the vibe uh well yeah like probably like half and half especially on the later <laughs> in the day ones like our, yeah. it was definitely noticeably rowdy that's so funny and like they even say stuff too because they're like you're not supposed to be drinking any alcohol that you aren't buying on this plane right but 
But you got the shooters through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we did the whole shebang. Like there was like, it was just a bunch of us girls. We like, we stayed at the Flamingo. Crazy place. Okay. It's so funny. You literally, you get in Vegas. You don't even have to like leave the fucking airport to gamble oh, you can yeah. immediately start if you if that's what you're here for you can just get started <laughs> same thing in reno and we were just like getting off the plane there's like seven slot machines immediately yeah i'm just like relax and it's already really colorful like the yeah. it's just like overstimulating the second you get off that airplane i mean it's funny too like the strip is not even 15 minutes away from the airport right and it's so weird you just drive through this like desert pretty poor like it looks like it kind of an impoverished area with like i don't know it's just desert everything is this exact same color the buildings the sand all of it and it's like (laughs) gross fences everywhere and like not a happy place and then like two seconds later you just like open up onto the strip and everything is neon right it's insane you're just thrust into the action yeah that's so weird. With like huge buildings and they're all shaped like weird things like the Eiffel <laughs> Tower and there's a pyramid for some reason <laughs> right. and like what the fuck is going on? Like why can't we just be our own place? Yeah. And like a giant <laughs> Ferris wheel. Oh my God. And so yeah, so it's insane. And then, so we stayed at the Flamingo, which is like one of the cheaper-ish kind of ones. And okay. then every single hotel there, the bottom floor is a casino. casino oh, for sure. And like it goes on for miles yeah it's insane and it's just like there's several doors everything's open all the time because it's hot as fuck did you even gamble your first time no some of my friends did i like truly have no desire that's so funny to go all the way there and not even gamble once honestly you didn't even hit a slot machine nope oh my god (laughs) that sounds like you yeah it just doesn't appeal to me i don't i don't want to lose my money (laughs) why is that fun I've never been around someone who's won anything. Like, what is the fucking point? Yeah, you've never, like, seen it, the glint in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I didn't gamble once, not even a little bit. Um, and not this last time either. Yeah. And, yeah, so the bottom floor is a casino. It stretches on for miles. It's so hard to tell which way you're fucking going because everything is just, like, bright, mm-hmm. flashing, making noise. So this must have been, like, 2017 or something? Yeah. And it's just like, I don't even know. And it's really funny too. You can like smoke inside. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like how is that allowed anymore? I thought that was just one of those things that you can't do anywhere in the U.S. Yeah. Nope. You smoke in the bottle of the casino all you want. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. And then even, even in the like, hotel ones? Yeah. Wow. And then there's like, I'm pretty sure like smoking rooms and non-smoking rooms. Yeah. Okay. Man. It's a different world over there. It's like, just like insane. It's like the worst part of america i could possibly think of (laughs) i mean it's just nuts and like so people are smoking and they're riding their slots there are people there you can tell they've been there all night fucking long like they haven't even gotten up once and these people have so much money and they just they can't be happy like there's (laughs) nothing and like what a weird environment to be sitting in all the time it's just neon Mm -hmm. just so bright colors you're just sitting at your i mean i just like it's depressing it really is depressing there's like no windows on purpose there's no clocks on purpose that shit's so crazy yes that's more gamification of it like they're manipulating you every step of the way yeah it's so sad it is pretty sad it's It's like the lottery it's like just this over promise yeah where it's literally and like why are we doing that to people (laughs) i don't really understand money yeah Yeah. (laughs) but i mean we did the whole thing you know we went to like random clubs we went to like a crowded ass fucking pool party we got some like really expensive very mediocre dinners like that's like what you're supposed to do yeah we had fun for sure i mean we were like also broke so i have to it's vegas is insanely expensive Mm -hmm. like literally drinks are like 30 bucks that's so fucked up it's like actually crazy a cocktail yes they're so expensive. I would just turn around. There was some times when I swear they were like $50 and like covers were that much. But if you're with just like a group of girls, you can get in pretty much anywhere for free. You just have to yeah. find a promoter who's going to do that for you. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. So that's fun. And then like, it's like, <laughs> 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 it is kind of like, it's like a little bit of a game. Yeah. No, that sounds fun. Yeah. I wish I was a hot girl. Yeah. In that situation. Well, truly, you don't even have to be a hot one. No. Just female just female <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no i'm just kidding i think all women are beautiful but um there you go. like truly you just like it doesn't matter yeah yeah you just have to have a vagina yeah there you go yeah. 
Um, but yeah, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> and so, <laughs> um, I don't know. And like, so we, it was funny. Cause then you're just kind of like, you can do a lot in Vegas for free if you're a, a woman. Like it's true. I believe it for sure. But also just knowing how expensive shit is, is interesting because then I was thinking like Vegas would be so much more fun if you just have the money. Right. Oh yeah. But then if I have money, that's not where I'm fucking going. Yeah. I'm not taking my money there. I feel that. Yeah. Like that is not the nice vacation that I want when I actually have money to my name. No, right. And you're going to lose all of it. Like fuck that. Yeah. It's just so stupid. That's so silly. (laughs) So, I mean, we had fun. It was actually really funny. I mean, we were just like classic drunk girls running around doing things. And like there was one night, Sophia, shout out Sophia, found like a discarded, um, Oh yeah. Veil I remember that. From like some bachelorette pictures, yeah. party. <laughs> so she was wearing that around. Was it or like a sat like a sash? It was just a veil. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. And um yeah, so funny. And so <laughs> we were like running around pretending that she was a bride and we were the bridesmaids. That that's, gets you a lot of free drinks so, too. I'm sure, I'm yeah. sure. And then we got Sophia like kind of disappeared for a second and like we were in this club called Dre's which is like kind of known as the hip-hop club close really close to our hotel okay and so we went there and Sophia found Sophia disappeared for a second found her way into this there was a bunch of older gentlemen and she found her way into their VIP section I think it was the veil that got her let in there that's so funny and it was it's a really fun place but it was so funny because we like all kind of got up and we were sitting in there they were all older so some of us were like this is we don't necessarily want to be in here and Sophia's like smoking cigs with these gentlemen we're oh just hanging God. out it was so funny and then um we, we ended up staying in there for a while bopped around a little bit inside trying to find people who would buy us beverages and then we ended up leaving there I would say majority of us at this point, no one's wearing their shoes anymore. Like our high heels. Oh my like God. We just looked a wreck. <laughs> and then we walked all the way back to the hotel. Sophia is like, I think most of us took the stairs. Sophia like tries to like sprint up this broken <laughs> escalator, completely bust her foot open. Oh no. So she's bleeding all over the lobby of this really nice hotel or, you know, whatever. Like the metal escalator? Like, yeah. Oh my, yes. that sounds painful actually. And she was literally bleeding all over the place. This guy who had been mopping nearby was kind of just like trailing behind her, following her around oh at my this God. point. I kind of remember yeah. hearing about that. That's so funny. And then she, she's just like sobbing and she has her veil on and she's like, I don't want to get married anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked. I love that everyone, like you could just have anything on. Like she didn't have anything that specifically said or explicitly said that no, she was a bride. I don't think she was wearing white besides the veil. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> just show up there every time. Why wouldn't any, yeah. all of you should be getting married. Yeah. You know what I mean? Literally. <laughs> so, I mean, that was so funny. Um, and yeah, otherwise, I mean, there was even one night where we had to eat at like, I think everyone was running out of money and we had to eat at like this shitty food court. That's it was so disgusting. And even that, we also had a breakfast at a Denny's one morning. Let's go. Oh, it was yeah. just like a pot mess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's what we did. And that was like my first Vegas experience. Honestly, we were there a few days too long. Like, I think you should never spend more than, I don't even know, two, maybe three nights max. How long were you there? I think we were there for five days. What? Maybe it was only four, but it felt like a fucking eternity. (laughs) That seems like something I could do for like one night and get all of it. Yeah, truly. That's pretty funny. Truly. Huh, a five-day Vegas trip. Oh, God, yeah. It was just way too much. And um, back then, uh, so that first trip, I th- I even put it on my Instagram. I was like, my hot take was literally <laughs> 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 Vegas is just like the Wisconsin Dells. It is the Dells. There, yeah. I see no difference. Did you kind of come up with that? Yes. Back in the day? Yeah. Oh, ever since... Yeah, I'm, I'm, it sounds like you told me. I've always just thought that was like a Wisconsin joke. No, that was my hot take. Oh, shit. No, like every time <laughs> I see it, I definitely agree. Like <laughs> any pictures, any videos, I'm like, yeah. It's the Dells. Oh, man. You thought of that? Yeah, I made it my Instagram caption forever ago and I've stuck with it. Uh, yeah, super true. Based yeah. on what I've heard and seen. Yeah. That's hilarious. So for those of you that aren't familiar, I guess most of you probably are. Um, the Dells is the water park capital of the world here in Wisconsin. <laughs> 
And in my opinion, it's the exact same. There's a lot of like, I don't know. It's just like a bunch of like overweight white people. Yeah. In flip flops with sunburns. That's yep. what's going on. And too much money. And way too much money. Well. Maybe not the locals up there, but yeah, people I, I visit that shit. Yeah, well, and it's interesting because like it is it is some for some reason it is the same people that go to the Dells that go to Vegas but like do you guys have money or is this I feel yeah, like yeah that's a good question or like is that just the way that they spend their money like this is their like this like, is my nice vacation yeah they they saved up a bunch of money to blow it at what the Vegas casinos yeah and Ho-Chunk when they're at home in the Dells <laughs> like what is wrong with these people but so yeah so that's my hot take um and I I went this time <laughs> I got to go back um Finally. for work which was you know totally a different vibe and actually that kind of made me think about how funny it is that that's like those are the two groups of people that are going to vegas people who are going to party and oh, people yeah. who are going for a fucking conference yeah, like that's so what's true. going on so true which is just so funny and i guess like it kind of makes sense because like there's just thousands of these giant monstrous hotels oh yeah that have like huge conference centers in them totally but it's just like the the two groups don't exactly mix. Yeah. I bet a lot of conference goers get fucked up. I mean, did you guys got kind of fucked up afterwards. Right? I mean, we went, we went out. I wouldn't say we like <laughs> did the Vegas type of going out, but yeah, okay. we did go to some bars. <laughs> <laughs> and consumed alcohol. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, yeah, that's fair. They're pretty different crowds. Yeah, it's just so funny. Like I the it just doesn't seem like a very good mix. Yeah. But it just it's just made to house people. Yeah. It's like, just like anybody, please right. come here. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this time I went for work. My flight was also at eight a.m., so not nearly as rowdy. Though there were some people on it who you could tell were like excited. Okay, yeah. So they're like, "Ooh, Vegas." Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't my first experience. Like, I'm glad I went and did the silly thing. Sure. The first time, but honestly, didn't change a bit. It is the exact same. Yeah. And it's really interesting. I mean, truly, last place on earth I thought I would ever be during a pandemic. I'll tell you that. Uh, Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Are masks going on even? Yes, um, but they have a mask mandate right now. Okay. They did even pre are getting one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they were a hot spot for a while. Um, So, yeah, I had to have a mask on pretty much the whole weekend. And, like, even outside I had it on sometimes because there's just crowded yeah, when you're, like, shoulder to shoulder with people, it yeah. gets uncomfy, for and sure. And, like, it, I don't know, yeah. And it's funny, too, like, you know, we were, like, out in the day sometimes here, which I don't think we did that much of last time. And, like, there are, like, kids. Why is your kid here? Don't bring your kid here. That's so weird. There's kids, and then there's, like, you know, strippers. Right. On their way to work. Yeah. Or, like, those girls who wear the feathers. Are those and, burlesque like, dancers? Things. I don't know. They literally just seem like sidewalk street. I think they probably are. They're like sign pr- twirlers. Promoting. <laughs> but for her. They're probably clubs. promoting a club. Yeah. But they're just out there pretty yeah. much naked. Yeah. Strange. It's little, 3 little Johnny's walking past. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's a crazy place. But um, it was funny, too, because <laughs> I don't know. What kind of hold this man has on Las Vegas right now? <laughs> but um, Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bruno Mars has a Las Vegas residency right now. I'm not sure at which um, venue. Yeah. But he, like, I think Bruno Mars must own Las Vegas because quite literally, we stood outside one night to catch the Bellagio Fountains. I was I was there for work. I was capturing social media content um, for this event, for this hair competition. So I was like, oh, a cute, like, good night one yeah. would be the Bellagio Fountains at the end of the night to kind of be like, oh, that's a wrap on day one. It's classic. So we went out there, um, trekked our way down to the Bellagio and waited for the fountains and it was to Uptown Funk like last time I went it was 100% to like a nice symphony type of song (laughs) no this time it was to Uptown Funk 
hilarious oh like a God. fucking course amazing and then like then i started picking up on like i'd be in the elevators and there's like an instrumental version of <laughs> one of bruno mars songs <laughs> then i would be oh, no. like in the conference center or something and i hear bruno mars but it's like a girl singing it instead or something <laughs> and then like other places you would hear like a weird kind of like edm ripoff bruno mars fucking song <laughs> and then when we were the night that we like the after the show was over, we were out celebrating a weekend complete of work, um, I guess. It was like on a Sunday night. And we were in the bar of our hotel downstairs, like one of the casino bars. Yeah. And there was a man in the corner playing live, but he was only doing Bruno Mars covers. Like, what <laughs> the fuck is going on? It was literally <laughs> insane. Oh, he's unescapable. Literally. And like, of course, it's Bruno Mars. Yeah, yeah, right. He's one of those ones where he's, like, too famous. Like, I don't really understand how famous he is, probably. Same. And, like, does anyone actually like this music? Because it just comes on all the time. It's always, it's everywhere. Especially if you're in Las Vegas, apparently. Yeah. But, like, does anyone, is there, I have never met, like, a person who's like, oh, I love Bruno Mars. Right. I like where his songs. His yeah. There's some songs I like. I mean, they're all right. But if he put out a new album, I don't think I'd know about it. I, I don't, don't think I'd listen. <laughs> I don't think I'd listen, especially not now. Not after this experience. You're just bombarded with it. Yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous to me. And like, I don't know. He's one of those people I don't totally understand how he even got to the level of famous he did because his songs are so like commercial now. Like they're, they're used in ads and they're used on TV. That's what I mean. Yeah. He's like this level of like superstardom. That's like, yeah. Uh, that's not the kind of superstar I music. would want. Yeah. Uh, now I hear your songs and I'm annoyed. Yeah, I feel you. Is that what you want? That's I'm annoyed so now. Oh, Uptown Punk is on? Turn it off. <laughs> Put the earplugs in. Oh my God. Literally, he was all over the place. Like, it was awful. I just was like, what the fuck is going on? When I, Especially when it was the guy doing the covers live. Right. That's I was so like, funny. you gotta be kidding me. With a guitar? Yeah. Just a guitar One after and, another. and Bruno Mars songs. Yeah. Oh he didn't even God. take a break. Like, are you Bruno Mars? Right. Was he? And no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And like, what a weird gig. Yeah. Oh, any honestly, residency sound kind of weird to me. No, I was talking more about the the guy who has to play only Bruno Mars covers. Oh, yeah. OK, OK. But uh, residency does kind of I mean, you make a shit ton of money. So, yeah, it makes sense if for something where like tourists are in and out i guess especially like that but then like what i don't know like do they stay there do they just live in las like right are like, they just that... in las vegas for four months or a month or whatever that sounds bad yeah it does sound bad i was scared i would have to be there for two fucking weeks oh yeah yeah that would have been terrible basically the mass mandate was happening there and of course the event we were doing was like highly like we really wanted to be safe we did all this covid testing and stuff because I don't know, just to keep everyone safe, I guess. <laughs> so, so upon arrival, we were supposed to get tested right away. And like that, that's just kind of funny because you could have come all that way just to test positive for coronavirus and then your trip's over. And the first option was, so our event was at the Aria resort and casino. <laughs> um, and so that's where we were staying. And the first option was we would get put up there for two weeks. Two weeks. Awful. You wouldn't even be able to leave your hotel room. Insane. Like yeah. I can't even. No, that sounds like that hell. That sounds like hell. Yeah. And, um, and then my company was like, okay, well that would suck. So if you do test positive, like we'd probably put you up in an Airbnb so you could at least like step outside. Right. And then someone would come bring you groceries. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I like couldn't think of a worse place to be stuck alone by myself for two weeks. Oh my God. Can't even go gamble. Can't even go see yeah. Bruno Mars. <laughs> yeah, right. Why am I here? <laughs> so yeah, that didn't happen. Luckily, phew, you know, close COVID call. COVID free, baby. Yeah. So far. So far. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's just funny. I feel like I, I like remember thinking Vegas was an insane place, but like I just kind of... Uh, I, yeah. I, I submitted myself to the absolute insanity of it oh, the first sure. time I went because I was like, this is why we're here. Yeah, yeah. And this time I was more of like an observer. Right. <laughs> really fascinating. I mean, the people watching is incredible. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. Yeah, you've been a part of both crowds now. Yeah. The partiers and the conference goers. Yeah. Got to live both lives. So true. 
But well, there's a third life. I have a couple of coworkers who live there, not in the city, of course, yeah. like right outside. Honestly, if they've like told me the neighborhood or whatever little, I don't know if it's a city, it's a suburb, I guess. I looked up pictures and it looks really nice. So it's, I don't understand that place. I don't even get where that would be. I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't been there, so I can't relate it like literally, but it's like a f- little bit outside the city. They got mountains behind them and shit. It looks nice. It's funny. It doesn't look like what I think of. And Vegas. like we had, you can like, especially if you're high up, like I think like Ellen, for example, was on like the 32nd floor of the hotel. Holy shit. Like once you're all the way floors? up there, you can like see the mountain, like you can, but it just, all you see is desert. Like yeah, you just yeah. see a bunch of neon shit and then all of a sudden it's just desert. Like That's I don't so even funny. get where the rest of the stuff is. Right. And actually, the first time that we went, we also went to kind of like, I don't know if it's considered the old strip, but it's like the older part of Las Vegas that used to be the main area. Um, I think it's called Friedmont Street. Okay. And now it's kind of seedy, like it's turned into sort of a gross, uh, there's a lot of drugs over there, I think, but we went to go check it out because we didn't know that. And it's like kind of historical. Um yeah n- not really a pleasant visit it was like like i don't know it was just kind of felt like people who were on drugs and people were asking for money and everyone had like leathery skin yeah spending the sun too long yeah and uh but anyway we were over there and that's where there's like some like funky restaurants it's all like more old school neon vibes like almost carnival or something sure and then Uh, truly that is like the epitome of the worst part of america there was this restaurant that was like the 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 entrance was a giant scale and if you weighed over 400 pounds you had you could like basically upon entry if you if the scale dings and you're over 400 pounds it's all you can eat for free i mean that's disgusting what the fuck yeah and it was called like who does fat daddies or something yeah, I mean, it's just like, this is like easily the worst. <laughs> I just like... That sounds so wet. Yeah, no. It's terrible. I mean, that's awful. You went there? We did not eat there, no. Okay. No. <laughs> you saw this place? Yeah. This was on this most recent trip? No, no. This was on the first one. Okay. With Yeah, with my you, friends. You wanted to visit the We old, just wanted to go check strip. out the old yeah. strip. Yeah. And it That's was like... so fucked. And it was dude. other things like that too. Just like these yeah. weird glorified... Like I just... What the fuck? Why are you even doing that to anybody? Also, ew. Yeah, that's so whack. Holy shit. Or Big Daddies or something. It was something. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't... It's kind of a funny name, but yeah. Yeah, but it's a fucked up concept. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. I mean, that's what Vegas is, though. You're just kind of like preying on people with different oh, totally issues. Yeah, that's what the whole city is about. Yeah, at least the different vices downtown or whatever it's called. It's just nuts. But yeah, Crazy. I mean, I actually I didn't ever play any slots, so that's not. It just truly I don't see the the draw. Both times, yet you didn't do a single anything. Uh, this last time, like I pulled one of Ellen's for her for one once. <laughs> But were you, not were you the lucky stroke? No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, too, actually, because Tom, one of my coworkers, we were, like, running around kind of in the bottom of the casino looking for random little games to play. And I think he had a 20 and then picked a machine, but the max bet was 10 or maybe even 5. So okay. he fed the machine the 20, but because it was above what the max bet was he couldn't even play and then he didn't get his money back so it just ate his 20 dollar bill what the fuck yes oh my god all the millions they spend they can't have like a thing that returns your change that's crazy I know. it's just crazy holy shit but it was i mean like there was like this woman next to ellen ellen just wanted to pull at least one slot right so she put a little money in there and she was just pulling slots this woman at the slot machine next to her like 100 percent, had one of those classic little <laughs> clear caps that you see people the visors. yeah the visor thing <laughs> she was just like counting her money her feet were up on oh the, my god and she was older she was probably like in her 60s she was there to game and she was just there just her i don't think she was with a friend Wow. It was just crazy. That's wild. Yeah. I feel like I would want to try like some roulette or something. I don't know. Those kind of games look fun. A little blackjack. Just like to an see what it's like. Like an actual card table? I mean, yeah. Blackjack is an actual card table. Roulette's that one where it's like goes around the spinning black and red oh. tiles and shit. And you're like 
betting on red and throw a dice or sure. some shit. I don't even know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just combined two games. I combined craps and roulette, but craps would be fun. Are those like actual games of skill? Uh, I mean, no. Blackjack's mainly betting. Like, you have to understand the odds. I'm sure there's like people who are good at it and can count cards and stuff. Roulette's purely chance. Because C- like when chance. you pull slot machine, that's just chance. Yeah, yeah. That's just weighted chance, man. They don't want you to win that. Yeah, that's they what I'm saying. All of this there. is rigged. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't get sure. why anyone <laughs> is like, today's the day. Yeah, right. No, it isn't. In fact, it'll never be the day. Right. Yeah, oh my God. It's just crazy. But yeah, it was actually funny when we were on our way out. It was just me and Josh on our flights home back to Madison, one of my coworkers, and he was like, last chance. Like, we're walking through the airport <laughs> passing some slot machines. Oh, I got to go get it in. No, I'm actually good. Thank you so much. But Man, that's crazy. At least you pulled one slot machine. Yeah. Did you win anything? No. When I was with Jacob and his family in, that was more like near Reno, somewhere near Tahoe. This might even have been in California. But we went to this like little buffet at a hotel and there were some like little slot machines and shit. And he won 20 bucks. So, oh, that's cool. I think maybe that's why I think everyone yeah, can right. win. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but they really do plant it in your head like you could win a billion dollars. And some people are just like, yep, yeah, I need to try. Well, like you have to wonder like some people are probably literally just here for the gambling. Like a lot of yeah. people go to Vegas for the partying, but some people probably just show up. Oh, yeah, for sure. For that reason alone, which is that's like you have an, a problem. Yeah. I think people who go with like the understanding that they're just going to get fucked up and like lose like a bunch of money. That's if that's what you want to go do. Sure. Whatever, yeah. Just to whatever. say you did it. Yeah. yeah. Like I get that part of it. Yeah. And that's the part of Vegas that's so fascinating to me, honestly, because mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm happy I went. It was fun. It's just like one of those places you check off the list. Yeah. It's totally. fucking nuts. Like, yeah. Right. And like I truly feel like you can't. You don't know what it's like till you've been. Okay. Which just sounds like an annoying thing to say, but like... I wouldn't get it, you're yeah. saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have been on this episode then. My bad. <laughs> uh, no, but it's good to talk about it with someone who like, you know, still has a vision of it. Yeah, yeah. Untainted. For sure. Besides by me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think we should... Or I don't know if you should no. go with me. Maybe go with your friends. You, I don't, if I was you and I'd gone twice... I don't think I'd ever want to go again. I, I want to go once maybe with money. Okay. Yeah. Or like with, a, with because a, it was also just me and my girlfriends, like maybe with a group of girls and guys or I don't know why I think that'd be fun, but. Yeah. I just guess I just want to go with Adam. to like fuck off and make, lose some money. Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's make a bunch of money and we can go lose it. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a wild, wild place. And like, I mean, even this last time we went to like a couple of nice dinners while we were on this work trip. Yeah. In various hotels. Sure. Because everything's in hotels. Yeah. Um, And we went to this hotel, I think, called the Venetian. Okay. I don't remember the name of the restaurant. It was good. It was French. But then the Venetian was like this crazy. That's where I was at, at like in the indoor there was a gondola man in an indoor river. Oh, yeah. That place looked fucking weird. I mean, weird. it was fucking nuts. It was designed like Europe. Like, first of all, why are we so obsessed with Europe? I don't get why we're so obsessed with it. Yeah, I mean, right. I lo- but just go there, you know? Don't go to the weird Dell's version. Yeah, the like, weird I don't carnival understand. version. And it's the second floor, too, of this hotel, which makes no sense. How is there all that water? It's just like modeled after Venice, right? Yeah, and it's supposed to look like Venice with like all these little and then like the ceiling is painted like sky. Yeah. No, you took a video of it. I 100 percent thought you were outside in the middle of the day. (laughs) It was like 8 p.m., maybe even later. That's so weird. And you can get actual gondola rides in there and the man will sing. He sings. Oh, my God. And pushes you around on this like chlorinated river. Holy shit. This is fucking nuts. Yeah, probably fucking like blue dye. Yeah. Oh, definitely. (laughs) And like little cobblestone steps. Like, why is that in here? Is that near the Dells or is that near, is that like on the way to Milwaukee? Do you know that like little mini golf place? Oh, where it's blue. Where it's super blue. Yeah. Have we talked about that on yeah. the podcast before? Not on here, I don't that think. That place is fucking weird. Yeah. That gives, Just you, gives of me the blue. weird vibes. Yeah. It's like really bright blue. It's like, yeah, like aqua. And it's like not, not clear because it's not actually nice, clear blue water yeah. with a fucking 
sky of blue right. above it. It is opaque. Yeah. You can't see through it. Yeah. It looks like dish soap or something. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. So maybe in somewhere in that realm of blue. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it was crazy. And then there's like weird, all the things, all the things have to have like a gimmick, right? So like yeah, there are like bars so next door. One of them, one of the bars right there was like an oxygen bar. So you just go and they like, and I can't even imagine how much you have to fucking pay for that shit. Yeah. Just take a breath in a deeper one than usual. I'm sure you'll feel the same. Like what the fuck? And then across the street from that, all in this little Venice place was like (laughs) this like ice bar or something where you like pay 50 bucks or something insane. You get this like they have like a rack full of like furry jackets you can pick out. Sure. Like fur coats. Yeah. And then you pick one of those out and then you get your cocktail, but they hand it to you in like a giant ice cube (laughs) and that's fun. Like I just don't understand these things. That's so funny. What did you guys do when you were in there? We Is just like went, went and got dinner of, and then we went up to the okay. second floor to see Little Venice because oh, sure. Monica had been there before. Little Venice. Is that what they call it? I, I don't know. That's Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why can't anything just be like cool because it's cool? That's what I'm saying. It has to have some type of like reference. Yeah, to something else. Like, what is wrong with you people? Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the part that definitely looked 100% like the Wisconsin Dells. Yep. Like, you could have told me you were at the Wisconsin Dells. Yeah. It just looked like the inside of a water park. Yeah. So weird. Like no, it looked like the outside of a water park. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the video. Yeah. I mean, you could tell you're inside when you were in it. Yeah, the way that phones, like, register skies is they actually, like, treat them differently. Yeah. And it treated it like a real a sky. Real sky. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, she's outside. You know, <laughs> not even close. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many times I need to go back. Maybe just, like, once. I also think what I haven't really done yet is gone for an actual show. I'm like, I think it would be cool to see someone just super fucking famous. at a, I mean, not Bruno Mars, like anyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would see some type of, like, acrobat show there or something, too. Well, they do Cirque du Soleil, but yeah. I have no... Those kind of scare me. Those are dope. You don't like that kind of stuff? Mm-mm. Oh. That's so cool. They're doing flips and shit. Those is, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. It kind it's, of like feels... I don't know. Is it because you couldn't do a front flip? <laughs> On Trent's trampoline? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm harboring some ill will. Yeah, you're just jealous. Yeah, those don't really appeal to me. Okay. Well, yeah, I'd be down for a show or something. Yeah, it just kind of sounds fun. That's hilarious. But yeah, I mean, there were a lot of people that were famous there who had residencies besides Bruno Mars. However, I am surprised he's letting anyone else perform in his city. Um, right. Yeah, I think he owns it now. Yeah, I think, I think it's he's Bruno the mayor. Mars city. <laughs> yeah, he's the fucking mayor. But yeah, I don't know. And like, obviously, like Britney Spears had one for like literally like four fucking years. What? Yeah, she had a residency there for four years. I would just feel like some weird, like, little, like, show monkey. I guess. You're getting paid millions of dollars. Like, That's true. <laughs> like, literally so little much band money. Up. And then you can go eat at Nobu or, like, wherever the rich people eat. Yeah. Little Venice, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I did try In-N-Out. Okay, cool. That was something I did. The animal fries? Didn't love them. Yeah. Or whatever, animal style, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I don't think I have I, I got those like when I was in California once. Or I got in and out when I was in California once. I don't know if I got the fries. It was a good burger. It was fine. My burger was good. Like, yeah. I would say comparable to Culver's. Nice. I might like Culver's more, but... Culver's is good, dude. Yeah. Culver's this is was really good. good. Yeah. yeah. But the fries, I think it's because I like crispy and then animal style is just like a bunch of like sloppy onion type of shit on it and then they get soggy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can see how you wouldn't like that for sure. Because I think I got animal style su- stuff, toppings, whatever on my burger too. And that was Dees. Oh, okay. That sounds good. So yeah, definitely got a horrible stomach ache afterwards. But oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And it was funny too. Cause we, we, that was like, we had gone to nice dinners all week and then we just went to like one shitty one. Yeah. Right. That's what's up. And it was fun. And like some of us hadn't been to in and out yet ever in our lives. And so we were like, you know, dressed nice. And then like <laughs> everyone else in there was probably like either on their way going out or already maybe had been out all day and yeah, just looked totally. trashed. That's so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so hot too. Oh my God. Do not go to Vegas in summer. Hot. Miserable. 
even at night, like literally we'd be like on our way to the Bellagio or dinner or something and you step out and it's just like a fucking brick wall of heat. In the dark? Yes, in the pitch black dark. Oh, that sounds terrible. It was like disorienting. That's like sanctuary at night here. Yeah. It's like, okay, at least it's not fucking hot. Yeah. No. Damn. So hot. That's whack. Yeah. So if you're going to go, don't go in summer, but also maybe don't go at all. <laughs> Greatest place on earth. Yeah. Sin City or whatever. <laughs> absolutely insane but um yeah that's just my take it's the same as the dells yeah no that sounds super accurate and do i want to go back to the dells no do i want to go back to vegas not really yeah the well, dells man i'll go to the dells <laughs> would you really i think i would go to the dells i fuck with like noah's ark just like maybe it's nostalgia noah's ark is fine or like mount olympus or something I've literally only been to Noah's Ark and Kalahari. I've never been to any other place. Really? I've never been to Mount Olympus. I've been to like all those bitches. Great Wolf Lodge, the Wilderness, nope. the Kalahari. Maybe went to the Wilderness like once. Even yeah. some of those. Like I went to that one that's like half spa, half. Oh, what oh. is that fucking place called? Um, I have no idea. I've never heard of that. It's still a water park. They all are. I went there, I think with Tiffany and we had this room where like. There's just like the kitchen and a hot tub in the floor in the this That's kind of sick. Yeah, I guess. I'll take that. <laughs> you do like hot tubs? I <laughs> love hot tubs. Yeah, they just dry me the fuck out, so that's not really my style. God, I can't remember what the place is called. But yeah. Sounds amazing. I was always up in the Dells. It's a good spot. I don't know if that's true. I like um Ishnala. Yeah, I've never been still. Gotta go there. I like just heard about that mm -hmm. this summer. That's like the good kind of part of those places where it's like a classic supper club. Yeah. You know that shit's banging. For sure. They're fish fry. Delicious. <laughs> and you have to wait like two hours, but it's always worth it. Yeah. It sounds like it's popping. Mm -hmm. And they like don't take a res or anything. So. Too cool for res. You just got to show up. Yeah. They make a good old fashioned. Okay. Sip on that while you wait for your table. Amazing. Great place. Classic Wisconsin shit. Mm-hmm. See, and, like, that's the thing. At least there are some classic... Like, is there anything classic about Vegas? Vegas. Losing money. Robberies. Yeah. That's, like, the classic part. No, you, nobody gets robbed. <laughs> Have you seen the movie? It's impossible. <laughs> Only for a band of misfits. So true. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do next time we go. Rob it? Yeah. Yeah. Rob the Bellagio. Mm -hmm. And the... I think it's all three. MGM Grand. Yeah. Oh, that one guy owns them. Shit, we got to watch those again. <laughs> okay, everyone. Your homework is to go watch Ocean's Eleven. And 12 and 13. And 12 and 13. Actually, those ones aren't in Vegas, so never mind. 12 and 13? Yeah. So just 11. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening to me rant about the Dells, a.k.a. Las Vegas. <laughs> and if you ever go, report back. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to hear your hot takes. Same with the Dells, if you've never been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I guess I should also tell you how you can support the podcast. Ooh. If you absolutely adored listening to me blabber on about Las Vegas, you can show me by writing a review. You can also like, subscribe. Depending on the platform you listen on, I'm on all of your favorite streaming services. Um, what else? I have a Patreon. That's something I have. So if you want to support my podcast with your hard-earned American dollars, instead of putting them in the slot machines, there we go. You can send them my way. I would love you forever. Um, lots of little treats on there. I do exclusive monthly episodes. Um, bloopers, reels, and podcast shout outs, of course. And yeah, I think that's about it. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Amazing. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy planning your next trip to Las Vegas. <laughs> and I will talk to you next week. Bye. <laughs>